Hey everyone, Mr. Shell here, and in this video, I'll be showing you some basics in Adobe After Effects. Uh, actually, in this video, we'll be having a look how to animate in 3D space and you apply 3D layers and things like that to do with the 3D. Just a basic guide to it. Uh, if you're still new to After Effects and you don't know how to keyframe or just the basic things in After Effects, do check out my other videos in the video description where I'll be showing you how to keyframe and just introducing to you introducing you to basic after effects so let's begin this video so let's get a new composition up a new composition and i use the 1280 by 720 preset or the hdv hdtv presets actually and just make it about 10 seconds long if you're still practicing in a lifetime with me so let's have a look we got a composition and we need a layer so let's get a text layer up and mr shell here as a text layer and uh, currently, Mr. Shell is in free 2D space actually, and uh, not 3D space. We're gonna make him 3D space in a second. But in 2D space, all you can do is just basic animation, like I could zoom in like that, or make it like go up or something like that, or spin around using the rotation tool here. And that is re well, it's okay, but you can make it a bit more exciting. So. What we can do is make Mr. Shell the 3D layer, and you do this by going down into the layer section around here, and where the timeline is, go to the left, uh, Mr. Shell there, and what you do, if you look, if your layer thing looks like this, all you do is press F4. If it doesn't, then it should look like this. And all you do is press uh, the little square on the the cube, and that makes Mr. Shell a 3D layer. It can be simpler. And now we've got a Z tool here, and we got the rotation tool allowing you to rotate Mr. Shell in 3D. So we can look behind Mr. Shell, we can make it just basic, like so. And well, that is now a bit more exciting. Now, but we can make it a bit more, even more exciting by making the area around the layer itself move and we can do this by applying a new camera and you do this by going to layer new camera and I typically use the 35 millimeter preset but if you watch a tutorial just use uh, a different preset whatever they tell you to use then press OK for now and we got a camera and this camera allows you to orbit around uh, the actual layer so just select the orbit tool next to the rotation tool there and see we're just moving the area not the actual title so we're just moving the area around Mr. Shell here and well just judging on where you put it that's where the camera is looking so down the camera is looking behind Mr. Shell and see it, it seems to be rotating around the middle because that is the point of interest there and we can bring this up by go selecting the camera go to the camera just drag it down for more space go to position and then press shift a and the point of interest comes up and you can just move the point of interest around a little bit then make it go up go down and so on that's where the camera is looking the layer itself isn't moving at all so why not animate the camera a little bit so it goes from mr. shell and then maybe goes across somewhere else and looks at a different title okay let's just do that Go to orb, go to the orbit tool, oh, click and hold, and go to track X Y, like go, and there it is. So let's just move across there, like so, and Mr. Shell disappears off the composition. Get a new layer, a new text layer, and let's just type in basic, and click off and make this a 3D layer as well and it's it will probably jump off somewhere like it just did and just zoom in and make it a 3d layer well there is a 3d layer just animate the 3d layer a little bit and maybe go back so there we go basics so just make it look how you want it to look and it will stay there like this so now we've got by going to the Z tool we can zoom out now we've got Mr. Shell in one area and basics in another area and let's just zoom back in 
to basics and zoom I mean move over to Mr. Shell so let's make Mr. Shell move over and uh, the actually make the camera move from Mr. Shell to basics because we're not actually doing anything to the layer itself we can do this by going to the camera back to the camera and if you've got point of interest and position up just P and then shift A and then just let's start doing a bit of animation so let's start off in one second set the keyframes at the beginning and move o over two seconds it will move over to basics so that is the simplest animation for the camera ever there and let's do it in real time over two seconds it moves over like so and then we can make it even go up so let's make get up here get a new text layer actually yeah go go up again sorry uh just had to unclick and uh, get a new text layer it's called the basics uh that are uh, basics and youtube since we're all on youtube make this a little bit bigger so you can actually see the what e YouTube and there we go let's make this a 3d layer as well animate it up a little I like basics it jumps over and make this a 3d layer YouTube like so and now we can go back to mr. shell over here and let's just set the animation first sorry I'm being a bit confusing I've currently made the layer up there and we've got a layer where it animates too so there and currently just standing still we've got a new keyframe there and what it does so this keyframe let's go across a few and then move up like so so let's go back to Mr. Shell goes across to basics and then just a little jolt up and down by mistake I made that and goes up to YouTube so now we've got a universe of where the camera can go it can go even further than YouTube and it can go around and around and stuff like that so this has been the basic camera movement in uh, this tutorial so check out my other videos that I may upload about uh, After Effects and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed it enough to subscribe to my videos I do tech reviews and other tutorials like this one uh, you may find interesting so thanks everyone for watching this is me Mr. Shell and gotta hate to you all